Leo Cloutier is sponsored by Poster Fix, where we bring your vintage posters back to life. Howdy, everybody. This is Leo Claudio with Malice to Atlanta. It's indeed a pleasure to have as our guest here today with the California Angels, one of the top left-handers in Major League Baseball. I'd like to welcome to our show, Clyde Wright. Welcome, Clyde. Thank you, Leo. Clyde, it's certainly a pleasure to have you as our guest here today. Clyde, it's a hot night, but uh, that's the manner in which you've been pitching lately. You've been hot. <laughs> well, uh, it's like in Milwaukee the other night. I came out of the ball game. I was two runs down, and John Stevenson hit a three-run homer for me. So, you know, I've had a little bit of luck on my side. Plus, I've been getting the ball over, and, you know, everything's been going my way. Well, you've been pitching tremendously back in the groove again. Uh, was it a year or two ago that you won 22 and lost only 12? Well, it was two years ago when I won 22. That was a tremendous year, and the club wasn't going in any place in particular at the time. Well, that's right, you know, but, uh, you know, I can't uh, blame the club for it because they scored all the runs for me for me to get the win. <laughs> that's true. You had a no-hitter against the Oakland Athletics. Was it in 1970, two years ago, a time? It was. It was July the 3rd, 1970. You know, I'll never forget it. I don't think any pitcher that's, you know, ever had, uh, you know, that fortunate, to be that fortunate, you know, to really forget one. Clyde, the pressure must be tremendous when a fellow is in the process of pitching a no-hitter. Well, it is. Uh, I talked to Marty Patton, you know, here with the Red Sox, and he was telling me about the other night up in Oakland when he had the thing going with one out in the ninth inning. And I asked him, I said, well, you know, you really nervous? He said, you should have been there and watched me. I said, well, no. I said, I went through it, you know, one time. And I was, you know, a little bit more fortunate than you. I got to side out. And you know, he didn't, but, uh, you know, we were just sitting up there talking about how nervous he was. <laughs> Clyde, when does the pressure build up? Would you say in the eighth inning and ninth? Well, the eighth inning is when it really, uh, you know, got to me. But after I got through the eighth, you know, and I had a four-run lead at the time. It was against the Oakland Ball Club, and I know, you know, they can score four runs easy on me. And I just went out in the ninth inning, and I think, uh, well, I walked the first man who was uh, Frank Fernandez, and then uh, Campanaris hit a line drive right at uh, Jim Fergosi, our shortstop. Then uh, the Lou came up, and he told our catcher, he said, well, I'm going to end it one way or the other, you know, and he hit uh, a breaking pitch, and it was a semi-line drive to Fergosi. He really hit it hard, and they pulled a the double play, and it was over. You have to have those breaks, don't you? You sure do. It's just like Marty was telling me, you know, the ball that Jackson hit up there, uh, Doug Griffin almost caught it, said it, you know, barely ticked his glove and said, you know, it's a game of inches. It certainly is. Doug, uh, last year, was it 16 and 17, you reckon? I was 16 and 17 last and year, yes. just goes to show you how luck turns. You lost three one to nothing games. Well, that's right. You know, it's a different uh, year every time you go out, you know, you can't tell which way it's going to go. Clyde, um, to what do you attribute the change this year? They're getting more runs, but you're pitching better also? Well, no, I don't think I'm pitching any better. I'm taking it out there every four days. Now, you know, I'm giving up two and three runs a ball game, and, you know, it's just like I said, I'm being very fortunate they scoring, you know, like four or five runs for me. Clyde, uh, one of your big assets has been your control. Left-handers usually don't have the uncanny control that you have, but you've shown great control. Your bases on balls are only, or your strikeouts are two to one over your bases on balls. Well, uh, you know, there's two things. I don't uh, strike out that many people. I think I've it's about 120 innings now, and I've struck out like uh, 53 people. And that kid, Nolan Ryan, you know, I'm only about, a, about 100 behind him. But on the other hand, I don't walk that many people. Uh, you know, a lot of times I pitch around a hitter whom I think is going to hurt me in a situation, and it doesn't bother me to walk him in that situation. The thing I can't stand is walking, you know, a pitcher or something like that, uh, a guy that I know I can get out. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Clyde, I certainly want to thank you very much for this interview, and I want to wish you all the success in the world this year, and may this be another 20 victory or more uh, for 1972, and I know you're on your way and you'll get it. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Clyde. This is an interview with Clyde Wright, the star left-handed pitcher of the California Angels, and this brings us to the end of With Malice Stewart and for today. From Fenway Park, Leo Claudia, good day. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more classic sports interviews from Leo Cloutier with Malice Toward None. Brought to you by Poster Fix, where we bring your vintage posters back to life.